What's up, y'all? It's Daniel, your shoe Nike allows you to customize a number of the silhouettes. They change the colors, they change the textures, they change the materials. They change a lot of things off and on so that you can never get the same custom that you may have gotten months or years ago, but more often than not, you're allowed to customize a lot of their silhouettes. And it's hard to argue that the most popular silhouette as of late, for better or for worse, has been the Dunk Low. And I believe two times or three, maybe more, but probably closer to two or three, Nike has opened up customizations on their Nike by You platform to the Dunk Low. The first time I struck out, it was just a madhouse to get it in there. But the second time, I think I was just in the right place at the right time with the phone in my hand and I was able to pull the trigger very quickly to obtain basically a design that someone else already did just because I was afraid that I would lose my spot trying to customize my own Dunk. So on April 19th of 2021, I was able to grab the fragment blue version of the Nike by You custom Dunk Low. So today we're gonna to talk about that colorway and silhouette. This Nike Dunk Low by You features three basic colors on the shoe, black, white, and what many would call close enough to a fragment-ish blue hue. The toe box, the vamp, the front mudguard area, the eyelets and the laces, as well as the tongue and the swoosh are all black, as well as the tag on the back of the heel. It's oval, it's leathery, and it does have Nike embroidered in black. Remember, I was on a quick timeline. I didn't trust that it'd be available, so I just pulled the trigger on what someone else already designed. They put Nike, I chose Nike, I grabbed the shoe. Wasn't sure if I was gonna get it or not, but I did. And so it's a basic fragment, low Travis Scott dunk-ish rip-off shoe, whatever you wanna call it. The leather on the shoe is predominantly that tumbled, pebbled leather that you find. The shoe comes with flat black laces, a white tongue tag with black Nike logo and branding and sits atop a normal dunk midsole, half white and half in that fragment-ish blue color where you find a blue rubber outsole. Now, in a previous video, I mentioned how the Free 99 colorway was my first dunk low silhouette ever, and I actually was able to order this custom before I got this one in hand. And as I mentioned, I don't find this silhouette to be particularly comfortable. It's not great. I don't enjoy wearing it like, oh, this is so great on my feet. I'm definitely wearing it because it looks good. And I like the colors and it goes well. And you can tell that I have been wearing it because it's got all the creases there on the toe box area. It looks good for a springtime and summer look. I think this will work as well. The blue is a little darker, but I think with the right outfit choices and it's a low, it's going to feel okay and look okay with my outfits. I don't have high expectations for this to be a comfortable shoe. It is not an SB Dunk which I was corrected many, many times because I misspoke last video. Those are said to be way more comfortable than this regular Dunk Low. I can only assume so. I don't own any of the SB Dunk Lows. I just own these two Low Dunks. Be that as it may, both of these colorways will sit in my beater shelves. It's the shelves that sit in the entryway to the house. They're the ones that I wear more on the daily, while the shoes you see in Mott Shoe More are the ones that I save for special occasions. I don't really know what that means. Sometimes it's just going to dinner with friends. But basically, I will wear these more often. I will just slip them on to walk the dog, check the mail, play with my kids, just do everyday errands and not really worry about trying to flex on fools. But it's a good looking shoe. I really think like the Yeezy 700 V3, these two silhouettes and colorways really look better than they feel. I know that might be blasphemous to some of you out there, but I really don't feel that excited about a Dunk Low. I ordered it because I wanted to try it. I'm not sure that I will go out of my way to buy a Dunk Low ever again, unless there's a fantastically designed collaboration or something. These two might be it. I haven't tried the SB Dunk, so that might be something entirely different. Let me know in the comment section down below. Are the SB Dunk Lows way more comfortable than these regular Dunk Lows? I would have to imagine so, right? Now, when it comes to fit, I'm normally a size nine across the board. That's Ultra Boost, Air Force Ones, Jordan Ones, New Balance, Pumas, Asics, etc. I ordered a size nine in the Dunk Low and I hadn't tried on a nine before, but luckily both of these fit just fine, especially this Nike by You colorway in silhouette. 
It seems to fit just like the free 99, so I imagine the tooling and the fit is exactly the same, though I could be wrong. Someone correct me in the comments section down below if I am, in fact, wrong. But I felt like a size 9, my true to size, fit just perfectly. And I wouldn't call this a wide fitting shoe, but it definitely has a slightly wider fit to allow just a little bit more wiggle room for your toes. And to me, I like more wiggle room in the toe box area, though I don't mind a tighter fit around the midfoot area. But that doesn't matter with the silhouette because I think it fits just fine. And as I mentioned, in regards to comfort, I find the Nike Dunk Low to be one of the least comfortable silhouettes out there. Yes, even more uncomfortable than your normal Jordan 1 silhouette, which I find to be terribly uncomfortable for being such a hyped and great looking shoe. Now I don't gleam the cube, all right? I don't do kick flips, I can't do an ollie, I don't ride skateboard. So I don't know how this shoe fits or feels when riding a skateboard. And I wear my shoes for lifestyle purposes and for a lifestyle perspective, this shoe is not that comfortable, but that's okay. It's a beater shoe. It was pretty well priced. As mentioned, it was 120 US American dollars before tax. And while I fully realize $120 is a lot of money, it's not 170, it's not 180, and it's definitely not $300, which some of your favorite Jordan, Nike, and Yeezy brand shoes have been retailing for over the last few years. That being said, if I was gonna wear this shoe for 10 to 12 hours, I might be inclined to put in a super feet insole or try something different with a little bit more squish, a little bit more give. I like my shoes to be a little bit more squishy and comfortable. This will do in a pinch, maybe for four to six hours. Like I said, they're in my beater pile. And if I'm only walking the dog or wearing these shoes, it's gonna be just fine. But again, if I'm gonna wear it for a long time on the daily, I won't wear these as is. I'll put in a supporting insole to help out my delicate feet. So there you have it, my thoughts and opinions, more than a review about this Nike by you low dunk fragment colorway. I, I, yeah, we all have these nicknames for it. That's why you get it, right? Because it looks like a fragment low. Honestly, and this is gonna go off on a tangent. I like the Travis Scott fragment lows more than I do the highs. And honestly, I don't care that it says Travis Scott. I would buy a regular old fragment low. So I don't care, switch the swoosh around, make it small and normal size. I will be all over it but I prefer the low to the high in the Travis Scott world, but that's not what this review's about. Um, it looks like a fragment, right? That's why people get it, but not, but kind of. Anyway, I like it. It's a good looking shoe. It looks better than it feels. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about the comfort of a Dunk Low, especially how does it compare to an SB Dunk Low, which I don't know. I've never worn, never tried on, but it's gotta be more comfortable than this, right? Let me know what you think about this colorway, what you think about the silhouette and comfort in the comment section down below. And if you managed to get a Nike by you custom low dunk design, what'd you get? What'd you do? I don't know if you can post pictures, post a link or something. I'd love to know what other people got, especially if you didn't just buy an off the shelf, off the rack design, if you were able to actually put some time and thought into it. I just pulled the trigger and got it. So let us know in the comment section down below. So to all of you out there, wherever you are, thanks for watching. Stay tuned and just chill till the next episode.